back or welcome to I'm Michelle nice to meet you I am on my way to get my nails done today it's Friday at 1 30 I'm sure they're gonna be packed I should have done this earlier in the week but I just didn't I don't know I, I just didn't Friday is not the opportune day to go get your nails done because usually it's payday and everybody gets paid and that's what they do. So, oh well, we'll have to see if it's busy. If it's busy, I don't know if I'm going to sit and wait or come back. And then I was going to go buy food and stuff when I'm going to make for Thanksgiving. And I've looked all over for my note that I wrote to myself of what I'm making and taking to my mother's. And I can't find it. I know I'm bringing mashed potatoes. I'm going to big, big, get, get a big, get it right. Big crock pot I have, and I'm just going to fill it with mashed potatoes. I know I'm doing that. I don't know what else I'm doing. I'm going to have to call my mother and say, Mom, I lost my note. I don't remember what I'm going to bring. And she, she's really good with me forgetting. She probably already knows I'm going to forget. I don't know. My memory's out in left field sometimes. It's out in left field sometimes. Jeez. Then I wanted to go to the Dollar Tree because the last time I was there, I saw these cute little hats that have Frozen 2 on them. Little, like, elfy looking hats or Santa Claus hats. And I was going to see if they had those. Because tomorrow, I'm going with my granddaughters to see a movie. I talked to my mother about what I'm to bring for Thanksgiving. I am mashed potatoes, rolls, and corn casserole. Now who all here has had corn casserole? You know, it's the corn and the sour cream and the eggs and I don't know what else. I have to look up the recipe for Pete's sake because I don't remember how to make it. But anyway, let me tell you a story about corn casserole. A couple years ago, my mother made corn casserole. We had a picnic. It was summer. It was like probably the 4th of July. I don't know, something like that. Well, she made corn casserole and it was really good. It, we left it out in my air-conditioned house, mind you, for probably 45 minutes while everybody was get, getting served and everything. And then we put it in the refrigerator. Well, the next day comes around and it's like, mm, I'm hungry, it's lunchtime. Oh, I remembered I had corn casserole. So, what did I do? I cut a piece, not a big, just a little itty bitty sliver, you know how you do and you, and you eat it cold. So I ate it cold, that piece cold, while the other was heating up. Well, I ate the corn casserole thinking nothing, well, 30 minutes later, I started, my stomach started gurgling and I'm thinking, what is going on? 45 minutes later, you know what was going on, I don't need to tell you. So I'm throwing up and you know the, I don't need to tell you. Well anyway, two hours into this, I was sick. I was so sick. I've never ever in my life felt this before, this sick. I thought I was so sick I was dying. I really did. So I thought, I need to go to the emergency room. I just got to go to the emergency room. So puking all the way to the emergency room. In the emergency room, it was a mess. It was just a big mess. I get back in the room and now there's, they do blood work, they do whatever. And I've got doctors and nurses standing all around me and I'm thinking, this must be something serious. I don't know. So they said, we could give you a shot to, for the nausea. We, you know, we'll, we'll do that. Where do you want it? And all I remember saying is, I don't care. You can put it in my eyeball for all I care at this point. I, I remember saying that because I was so sick. So I got the nausea shot and that helped. And they admitted me out here, I had salmonella poisoning. They admitted me to the hospital. I was in there for probably 
three days in the hospital with IVs and antibiotics and everything else they do for food poisoning. So they released me. They released me the day before we are going on vacation to the ocean. So I thought, oh God, thank God I'm feeling better. I could make the trip. So they give me a prescription for antibiotics. No big deal, go get that filled. Go, you know, pack. I'm feeling okay, I'm feeling weak, but I'm feeling okay. We get down to, I don't know where we went, like North Carolina, South Carolina, some Myrtle Beach, or I don't remember where we went, but it was the beach. Well, we're down there, and like three days later, my skin starts turning into something that looks like crocodile skin. I mean, I'm red. I've been wearing sunscreen all along, okay? And I'm red, and I'm like turn. My skin looks like crocodile skin, and it starts to itch. And I'm thinking, what is now? What? What is happening to me? I look like uh, I look like crocodile lady. So we're there the rest of the week and here I'm getting worse and worse and worse come home and I go to urgent care here the medication that I was taking had that photosensitive reaction and I got it and I got it bad so they now I have to go on steroids because of the reaction to my skin and everything so it was a mess. It was a mess. But believe me, you don't want to ever get food poisoning like that because I seriously thought I was dying. In fact, my mom made the corn casserole and it's now a family joke that my mom kind of like tried to take me out, you know, with her cooking. So, corn casserole. I'm making it this year. Mom, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Mom. I'm in luck. They have these little cute little frozen hats. How cute is that? They can wear those to the movies tomorrow. I think those are cute. They'll be happy with them. All right, something else that I found that's really cute. Look at these. Let me find them. These ornaments, look. Oh, goodness, I got all of them. Oh, geez, hold a minute. Now I got a tangled up mess. All right, see that? That's an ornament that the kids can fill. And then I got some pom-poms. Give me something to do. All right, let's keep shopping. I don't know if you have a Dollar Tree in your area, but you ought to check it out. They have some cool stuff. I don't know, okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, let's go check out. There's a lot of people in line. There's a lot of people here today. Well, I just saw something really cool. This lady in the Dollar Tree had like three buggies and they were stocked full of nothing but deodorant. And you know, all the deodorants were a dollar. I mean, she had $500 worth of the deodorant and they said at the Dollar Tree, because I was asking the, the cashier as I was checking out, I'm like, you know, that lady's got a lot of deodorant. And he said, people do that a lot. Around Christmas time or different holidays, they come in and buy a couple hundred dollars worth of one thing, like deodorant or their little reading glasses or toothpaste, things like that. And then they donate them. I thought that was really cool. Just... I just thought that was cool. <laughs> she had a lot of deodorant, so I don't, I don't know where she's giving them to, but that was a nice thing to do. All right, I'm heading home. I think we're going to go out to dinner tonight. I'm not sure, but we might go do... Well, there's a new Mexican restaurant in town we might go check out, so let's go. We're back. I have my husband with me now, and Howdy. we are heading out to dinner. There's a new Mexican, well, I told you there's a new Mexican restaurant in town. We're gonna check that out. But boy, ugh, this weather change and my fibromyalgia and everything else, I just feel like caca. I feel like, oh, there's a light. That's a red light. I just do, I just feel tired and achy and everything else that goes with it. And it's cold. And it's cold. 
probably when I'm done, I'm sure I'll go home and hit the heated blanket. Get underneath that, turn that on, and be done for the night. It's saying 37, but I'm feeling like 27. Yeah, it is. I'm feeling cold. So far, so good. This place is pretty good, and it's really cute in here. Of course, it's Mexican, so it's all decked out in Mexican. But let me let me flip the camera around and show you something. They have they have salsa to dip in your chips in, and then they have coleslaw. And the chips with the coleslaw. Let me try one. This is really good. I've never. I wouldn't even have thought of doing this. Do you like it? No. It's pretty good. So who would have thought a dip in a chip in coleslaw? It's good. Look at Rob's food. What did you get? Eight piece special. Eight piece special. Thank you, Dad. Wow. That's me. I did it. Whoa. Okay, I got the fajitas. You put these things together. Now listen. I did not mean to get fajitas. I don't know what I was thinking because you got to put these things together. But we have enough food here for the next week. <coughs> but that was a mistake. They brought they brought the food and Rob's like and looked at me and I'm like, did I do it again? I did it again. I ordered the fajitas. I don't know what I was thinking. We now have enough food to last us like all week. Look at us. My husband packed this up. Maybe we've got this all that food. And boy, it was good. It was really good. And it's really good in here, too. Well, that was a nice evening out. Our dinner is done. We have enough leftovers for a small army. For the whole weekend. Yeah, for the whole weekend. So, guess who's not cooking? This girl. Tomorrow's frozen too. I'm gonna take, well, I'm gonna go with the little granddaughters. It's gonna be a little girl's day at frozen too. So maybe I'll get to record some of them tomorrow. I'm sure they're excited. I know my granddaughter's been talking about it for a month. She's going to see frozen. All right, well, I guess we're gonna say goodbye here. Until next time, like, subscribe, and come back and see me again. Bye.